If you ever wonder how uh, dual wielding pa street passes work, well, this is it apparently. This is only the start of Con Bravo. this overhead view of my bed so it's time for what I got this year at Con Bravo. Uh, starting things off, Zero Master did give me another game and uh, I'd say it's a little better than what he's been usually been giving me. Uh, this is Battle Hunter and it looks to be a uh, a strategy RPG of sorts and what's interesting is that this is actually up to four players so so that might be cool and um, Suffice to say, it's better than something like Yaiba Ninja Gaiden Z. 
And I was also with SCR at this year's Combro, and he also gave me some things. And uh, one of them was actually this. This is apparently a, uh, a promotional trainer's handbook uh, for Monster Hunter for you. Uh, Generations actually just came out, but uh, I still really enjoy it for you. And uh, this is actually pretty cool. It, it tells you about the story and all the monsters and, uh, and all the different weapons you can use and how they work and stuff like that. So uh, it's definitely a nice little thing to have as a Monster Hunter fan, so I do thank him for that. And that's actually not the only Monster Hunter thing I got. Uh, he, SCR also gave me in Zero some of these. These are apparently uh, little models of uh, weapon sets from Monster Hunter. And I end up getting two of them, both of them from the same monster, which is an Uragon, I believe. And I got a hammer and a greatsword. Uh, I obviously haven't fully opened these up or to put them up. I might put them on my desk, maybe not. I might put them on my desk or whatever. So, um, yeah, even though the even though I didn't get a switch axe because that's what I usually use in Monster Hunter, but these are still cool. So, thanks, man. Now there is one more thing I did get from SCR, and that's uh, a shirt. And since I didn't buy a shirt that this year's Combro, it, it was kind of the shirt I ended up getting for this year. And um, uh, it's uh, it's uh, this. It's a uh, a home state shirt for Ohio. Now keep in mind, I'm not from Ohio. I'm not even from America. I live in Ontario, so. This was definitely a ran, just a random, you know, what the fuck kind of kind of present. But um, thanks, I guess. I mean, if I ever visit SCR in Ohio, I could wear it for irony. So there's that. All right, that about does it for the stuff that Zero and SCR gave me. Uh, now it's time for what I got signed to this year at Comravo. Uh, the Runaway guys were there again, and I decided to bring something for all of them to sign, not just Jugga Conroy with my Okami and Blushy. So, this, I got this signed, um, it's Mario Party 1, which was the first game they, they did for their, uh, group channel, so, we have all the three main guys there, and, uh, Masei and Lukajin were also there at, at the signing, so I got them to sign the back, so, that was nice of them to do, to get that signed anyway. And speaking of returning guests, I got, uh, this signed from the Best Friends, uh, they did a playthrough of the Punisher game. Which uh, Pat told me was actually kind of a hard game to find, uh, probably because of their videos of, of the game. I'm not sure if that actually affects the, you know, supply and demand of this, but uh, I guess it would be a. I guess it's still a bit of an uncommon game to begin with. So um, yeah, I had all four of them signed, so that's definitely cool. And uh, one last thing I actually did get signed, and I wasn't really expecting to get get something signed from them, but. Uh, they were also at the Best Friends Autographs, and I figured I'd, I'd go say hi and talk to them. It's uh, the Arcadia guys. Now, unfortunately, some of their autographs got a little smudged here, but uh, uh, they were still pretty cool guys, and I even talked to them for a bit about my videos and such, and yeah, it was it was neat, so it was nice to just do that and, and all that. All right, now for the stuff that I actually did buy. Uh, we have this. This is Chozo Legacy. It's a remix album of... Super Metroid music done by Blind and DJ Cutman, a lot of whom was uh, that that was the person that was at, that had a booth and was selling his uh, CDs and stuff. And uh, you'll probably hear the music of this in this video too. And I gotta say, it's really good stuff. As a Super Metroid fan, this is definitely something you should check out. And as for actual games, I got a Sega CD game. It's been a while since I actually got a Sega CD game of my own. And uh, we have Mega Race. And uh, as far as I can tell, uh, yep, it has FMVs. And you race around in, uh, in uh, full motion video you know, tracks, I guess, from the looks of it. Uh, I believe this was also on PC, but I picked up the Sega CD version because it was, it was cheap and, you know, I could always use more Sega CD games, whether or not they're good or, whether or, not they're good or bad, but... Uh, uh, who knows? I'll, I'll still need to try it, but uh, who knows how good it actually is, so we'll see. I also picked up Tonic Trouble. Now, this is a game that I've always sort of knew about, but never actually tried it or really knew much about it. I do know it was made by Ubisoft and by the guys who, who made Rayman 2, so 
uh, this was pretty much just a uh, curiosity pick. Be like, you know what? Let's actually pick it up and see what it's actually like. You know, and if it's if if it's all right, it it would be worth getting. So yeah, there's that. And I mean, look at them. You can you can totally tell that's it's not Raymond. It's his own original character. Do not steal. And lastly, I got Folklore. Now, originally I wasn't going to pick this up because uh, this was a game I've always been kind of curious about as well. Just and just wanted to maybe pick it up sometime and see what it's about. Uh, but it was a little bit pricey at the one vendor that had it. But, uh, but then this year I ended up and get, got it for me, which, which thanks, but you didn't really have to do that. And I still owe them something for this, essentially. So, uh, yeah. But... Regardless, I'm I'm still glad I got this and uh, definitely wanted to check it out. So there you go. All right, and lastly, I got this. This is a Monster Hunter poster. Now, uh, actually, SCR ended up getting four of these posters in the artist alley for a deal, and what I ended up doing was buying one of them off of him essentially. So and uh, so including this and uh, and. And the folklore that he got me, I still owe him something, because this covered uh, essentially half of uh, folklore, at least in my mind anyway. So, yeah, it's definitely a, a cool poster. And as you could tell from the stuff I got earlier, I'm definitely a fan of Monster Hunter, and Monster Hunter Generations is fun too, so... Yep, good stuff. Oh yeah, one thing I almost forgot, uh, it, it was bad enough that SCR ended up getting me folklore. Well, Zero also got me something else, although it is yet another payment for editing some of his stuff on his um, Let's Play channel. And that's this. This is a little Sheena figurine. It even comes with Kareen. Uh, yeah, I mean, I recently did Tales of Symphonia for the retrospect not too long ago, so uh, this is definitely a nice thing to have. And, uh, and just like the guy figurine I got last year, uh, it's essentially my payment for editing some of Zero's videos, so again, thanks a lot, man. So that's it for this year's Combra. Oh, uh, once again, I had some fun, got some cool stuff, and look forward to being there again next year. So until then, I'll see you guys in the next video.